Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm Elisabetta, a watercolor artist based in Italy and uh, we talk about watercolors mainly on my channel, sometimes gouache. Stay tuned because I have received a, a parcel, a surprise box by a follower and uh, I opened it on a side but then I thought I would like to unbox it with you. This follower is uh, very generous. Her name is, I asked and she said I can say her name. Her name is Vati and, um, and here we are. I'm so excited. I don't know why some people are so generous, but it gives faith in the future of this planet. So let's open it right now. Okay. This is my art haul from a follower. I find this incredible. So let's see what inside. What is inside? Uh, here. Oh, here we have uh, some uh, swatches. New adventure travel palette. I have some words in the back, uh, nothing private, so it explains what it is here. Wow, this for a collector like me, it's really incredible. Wow, wonderful, ultramarine industrial smart. I'm not sure about the uh, brand of these swatches, but it will probably clarify in the following of the video. Potter's paint, wonderful. This person really knows how to make uh, swatches. These swatches are very nice. In the throne, ultramarine, mixes. Mm, she's a passionate like me. And paper, this is really a great present, thank you. Oh, some mixes are wonderful, look at this. By the way, like a cold, uh, this potter's pink, phthalo green, yucatan blue. I'm not sure about the brand, but I think we will find out before the video ends. Thank you for this. And then, this is quite heavy. Ooh. Let me put this away. She sent me some postcards of uh, where she lives. And uh, there are two pallets. Two pallets, wow. And a letter, but this letter in a golden ink. I will leave uh, this for later. I will read this in private. How nice. She is a really nice person, I think. Okay, lovely palette. Look at this. This look at this tin box. I have a very similar one for my old Holland. I find them great. Um, okay, I I opened it in the wrong size. This there are one, two, three, four, five, six, twenty-four pounds. Wow. And they in this is Daniel Smith, this is Daniel Smith. Uh, Daniel Smith has such a huge range that I don't have all these colors. I have quite a few, but not all these colors. Some I think I have. This is a complete palette by Daniel Smith. Thank you so much, Vati. There is some uh, OC Red Gold transparent. Let me check. That's this. Aussie Red Gold, Transparent, Pyrrol, Orange. It didn't move, it's perfect. Quinacridon Burnt Sienna, Quinacridon Carmine. No, Coral, Quinacridon Coral. Quinacridon, I'm not sure, but it's a Violet, I think. Magenta, Quinacridon Magenta, Quinacridon Pink, All the Beautiful Quinacridons by Daniel Smith. This is Quinacridone Violet and this is Quinacridone Lilac. I hope you can see it. Then 
Wow, so many quinacrylon colors, my favorite. Quinacrylon purple, PV55. Rose of Ultramarine. This, I'm not sure I can decipher it. Decipher, decipher this one. Decifrare in Italian. Cobalt Blue. Serpentine Genuine. One of the colors that are really lovely by Daniel Smith. Phthalo Green, yellow shade. Phthalo Blue, Turquoise, Cobalt Teal Blue, PB16. Very interesting. I want to compare this um, pigment. I want to make a comparison so it comes perfect timing. These are the Primatec, maybe. Mm. Permanent brown, of course, PBI 25. Transparent red oxide, beautiful. Piemontite genuine. This is a color I was very curious about. Raw amber violet, beautiful this one. This is color I also wanted for a long time. Thank you, Val. Indigo, paints gray, and viridian. Viridian, which is actually, and it is an emigram color. Thank you, this is so generous, look. A Daniel Smith palette, I'm a bit touched. Uh, it's incredible. Thank you, thank you. I mean, uh, I, I'm uh, a bit overwhelmed by the generosity of this follower. Can't wait to try them. And this is the second palette. I have never seen a palette like this. It's wonderful. I must ask her where she got it because it's too beautiful, really. It's compact with Diaz on it. Okay, and this is a Holbein. Wow, I talked to her and they said the Holbein is almost impossible to find here in Italy. And what did she do? She sent 45, 45 pence. This is incredible. Look at this. 45 pounds. Let's look at the colors. This is lemon yellow, permanent lemon yellow, permanent yellow deep, jaune brillant number two. This is, I think, alizarin cream. No, cadmium red hue. Not sure, but I will look, uh, I will double check. Rose matter. Crimson Lake, beautiful, very complete. Like this one, I mean, she, she put uh, uh, cold and warm reds, warm yellow, different blues, very complete. This is also, this is even more complete. Then I have, I'm not sure that my perfectly decipherate, decipher, I don't know her handwriting but cobalt blue hue this is blue a blue pb35 so it's cerulean blue compost blue i don't know what it is prussian blue one of my favorite wow beautiful colors so vibrant pb6 i don't know what this is a green maybe hooker's green i don't know viridian p67 viridian hue this looks like a May green, permanent uh, green, Terverte, very interesting this one. I want to make a comparison of these two. Yellow ochre, burn sienna. Um, this is probably a Venetian red or an English red. Burnt amber. This is yellow gray, how interesting. Davis gray, beautiful, a greenish gray. PB case, this is neutral tint. Very useful. I, it's the only black I use uh, apart uh, from Masret. Quinacrylon gold. S so yellow. Pyrrole red. Beautiful. Quinacrylon red. She has quite a collection. Quinacrylon magenta. Alizarin crimson, I think. Permanent alizarin crimson. Then, uh, I never thought I could use all these colors. This is... Uh, I don't know, but it's a beautiful color. It looks like an quinacrylon gold, but it isn't. It's a quinacrylon orange plus uh, a, yes, I think it's quinacrylon gold. 
Then um, here, there is uh, silver, gold, Indian yellow, bright rose, not an opera rose because it's here, bright violet, beautiful, so unique, marine, marine, marine blue, opera rose, lavender, bamboo green, leaf green, I have to use them, <laughs> turquoise blue, here there is a little rope, some wool, quinacrine violet, permanent violet, paints gray, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So I think I will uh, try and doodle with them. Let me think what I can sketch. Okay, now the sketch, I'm quite excited because uh, it's new paper. I understood from um, her letter that these are samples of this paper that um, it's all over on internet, but in Italy is not possible to find and it's B paper, apparently very good. So I'm trying this paper as well. I'm trying the Holbein colors and I'm doing a simple sketch that I found in this interesting book by Charles Evans, Quick and Clever Watercolors. A book that uh, I need to study well, just received it. And uh, then I might review on this channel. So here it says, uh, We'll draw a line in the middle and In the meantime, while these are dry, I have uh, 
rather the very kind note by Vati, by my follower. And I found out that these swatches, which are of incredible high quality, are from this company, are handmade watercolors from this company, Green Leaf and Blueberry. I will put the link in the note, in the notes. And I have looked at the colors available. They are of incredible high quality, but they are expensive as hell. I mean, in comparison, a gallo is given, but they are very, very beautiful. A lot of them are out of stock, but um, there is this thing about handmade watercolors. Uh, I don't find myself using them so much. I prefer to use um, big brands like Windsor & Newton or Daniel Smith, but I like to collect them. I mean, they're too beautiful to be used for my everyday sketches, but they're really beautiful. So I must force myself to use them more often. And these colors are incredible, American violet and so on. Always waiting for my sketch to dry. I have this wonderful swatch card that my follower has filled up for me, both for Daniel Smith and Holbein. I just wonder if you would like uh, to see me swatching them one by one, especially the Holbein because the Daniel Smith is more common, but the Holbein, I think, are more rare. Maybe you would like uh, me to make a dedicated video to swatching Holbein. Please do let me know in the comments. I have no words, actually. And uh, this is the dry sketch on this B paper that behaved really beautifully. Now, I don't know if it is the paper or the paint or combination of both. I think that just with few brush strokes, it came out beautifully. Um, so there are three elements. There is this book by Charles Evans. There is this wonderful Holbein paint that my follower has sent to me from the States. Incredible, all the way to Italy or maybe the paper that is uh, so good uh, and that is not possible to find here in Italy. But I really like this little sketch. So please, I'm waiting for your comments. What do you think of a Holbein brand? Have you experienced it? Uh, would you like me to swatch uh, one by one my incredibly huge palette? I have, I'm speechless about this, look at this. And uh, would you like me to review the book uh, Quick and Clever Watercolors that I have, uh, from which I have taken my little project. Just let me know. And above all, I'm curious to know your experience about Holbein. How do you rank uh, Holbein uh, among the big brands? I think it stands um, pretty high, right? It ranks very high. And um, that's it for the moment. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, little video and it was a bit unusual, slightly different from the usual swatching videos, uh, but I had fun, I enjoyed it. If you haven't uh, subscribed to my channel, maybe you can subscribe now so you will not miss my next videos. I don't think I will be posting a lot in the next days because I'm taking a small vacation, well deserved, I'm going to see my son can't wait and uh, but I will be happy to hear from you you know that I am chatty I love to chat with you so one huge thank once again to Vati this uh, big-hearted follower I must thank all of you because my channel is growing so rapidly and I get a lot of uh, comments and uh, I'm becoming almost friends with many of you a big thank to my community, a big thank to this follower, a big thank for you. I never thought I could grow this channel so much in such a short time. So thank you to you all. And today, um, one big hug to my friend Patty, who sent this wonderful two palettes to me, plus the swatches, plus the paper. Ciao, ciao. I'm waiting for your comments. Ciao from Elisabetta.